We are getting our first glimpse at plans for one of the biggest developments in Sarasota history. The planning board gave approval last week to Quay, Sarasota, and now we have the artist renderings. ABC 7's Ray Collins has some more details on this massive project planned for the foot of Fruitville Road. Ray. Haley, this one time place to be has been a vacant field for nearly 10 years, but now plans are moving forward. With this coming out and being constructed, that will kind of serve as the front door. Charlie Bailey is the attorney for the Jacksonville based developers of the new Quay, Sarasota. And if all goes as planned, this view right here will someday look like this 14 acres, which will include 695 condos, 175 hotel rooms, and 229,000 square feet of commercial, retail, and office space. Uh, there'll be a, a, a variety or varied height amongst uh, each of the blocks, but the tallest would be 18 stories. Here's a look at some of those taller buildings from the water looking back at the project. Bailey says it'll be built in 10 successive blocks starting closest to the Ritz-Carlton and going toward the Hyatt. And so it's going to develop south to north. Certainly a big difference from the previous quay that was one 10 story building. The previous developers knocked down this building about 10 years ago. Now, some opponents worry the new complex will add too much traffic to the area, especially since two other 18 story hotels are currently in the works. But Bailey says by the time this first phase is finished, the first of three traffic rotaries on US 41 will be complete starting at Fruitville Road. Which is going to add a significant roadway capacity along with the roundabouts to the north at 10th and 14th and the south at Gulf Streams. Neighbors around the new quay have mixed reactions. Besides the traffic, others mention the possibility of noise. But Barbara Pico, who lives in one of the nearby high rises, is looking forward to it. Oh, I would love to see. Uh some cultural things there. I would love it if the Sarasota Orchestra could have a new symphony hall on that corner. That would be the greatest. Well, either way, it won't be anytime soon. If all goes as planned, they won't break ground until 2018, Haley. Wow, and Ray, what's next in the approval process? Well, Bailey predicts the city commission will vote in October and November. They get two votes. And if approved, add 18 months to that until they would start this eight to 10 year long project. Wow. It's yeah. got a ways to go. Yeah. Thank you, Ray.